it is easy to understand that if you don't put the right definitions on the network hierarchy, some rules may not fire. But also, the opposite is true. You may have some rules that fire as a false positive when you look at this particular rule, when it says, and not when identity host name or container and asset reconciliation whitelist. So particularly when you want to whitelist a couple of things, and many rules uh, do that with that and not condition, if you don't have a definition in the then you may get uh, a rule to fire uh, when that's not what you want it to do. A classic example of that, if I do a search on their offenses, people on building blocks, and look for VA scanner, here is a host definition where I need to specify what my scanners are. So when I'm performing a scan, Curator is not going to give you a warning uh, about it. It's not going to uh, get offenses to fire in a condition when I detect some scanning because I have whitelisted them by putting them on this list. In my demo system, because I use QVM scanner to scan some machines for vulnerabilities, I have added the, and I have an all-in-one installation, I have added the Curator IP address into this particular list so I don't get a false positive about it. And as we said before, this is a host definition building block. So here's where you define it uh, and not in the network hierarchy. Another thing that uh, I also wanted to mention is that the if I go into the API, the network hierarchy has an, uh, an API definition, like almost everything in Curator, in which you can actually read or write into it. So if you go on their config network hierarchy, you can actually read the definitions that you have, as, uh, and you also have uh, get and put as well. And probably this is the way that people that use InfoBlocks for complex network that change quite often use this uh, API interface to bring that data into Curator. One more thing about network hierarchy or, or the discussion, this is not really on the network hierarchy, there is another button in there called domain management. You can define domains in Curator and have different networks. Let's say that you acquire uh, another company and there's going to be an overlap of the IP address space between the two companies you can actually put them in separate domains and you can also have offenses that fire for, for a particular domain and not for another. 